This is the place They say People come from far, far, far away To find their dreams Chasing down these medias and comments Called dreams in the sky of life What's good, your body? It's your boy SJK. Out the first by Super Saiyan the World Vibe on this planet. And I'm back here with another video. Uh, you guys, I have a review of a film, foreign film. We stepping into the foreign territory. And you know what? I like watching foreign films. I just don't watch any foreign films. You know, they got to be of good quality too. This is of good quality. Good camera work, storytelling, and little. You know, uh, it's a little heartwarming. It, it, you know, it gets it gets the butterflies tingling in your stomach and stuff in your chest. And just you know makes you feel good when you watch it so this movie here is starring donnie yen i ain't gonna lie when i was watching it i was really for i was really for a minute like is that jet lee my nigga you know donnie yen sometimes be looking like jet lee i ain't gonna lie but this film is starring donnie yen and this is not your typical action film i wouldn't even say it's action film it's part action there's very minimal action in it but it's more dialogue and uh it's more focused on story and i'm saying action is a story but it's more focused on dialogue building characters and stuff and building relationships between two characters and allowing you the audience either become attached to it or not so in this story the johnny yen is a teacher he's a teacher at a school he used to go to um i'm not going to give you guys too much about his past i want you guys to go learn about his past in the story and uh, he is basically trying to, you know, teach a bunch of these kids in his class to not go down the paths that he was going to go down and try to help better their lives. Because he is someone who can relate to the kids and because, you know, he went through it and he also feels for them because he was in a lot of their positions and he used to kind of be like these kids in his specific class. Uh, the class he's teaching, they're not like no notorious class that's like horribly bad or whatever. They're just one of those classes that just don't give a fuck or just don't care. They are literally like smoking cigarettes. They cooking food inside the classroom. They're selling t-shirts and all that. This shit is, this classroom is lit. But when Donnie Yen comes in there, he finds a way to uh, appeal to the kids and stuff by, you know, getting on their level, you know, kind of trying to be hip for them, but still being able to turn into a lesson. For example, uh, the kids in the class like to smoke cigarettes. So he teaches them a lesson about cigarettes, but he does it in a very interesting uh, way. But he doesn't do it in a douchey way or come off as no ass or whatever. He does it in a very uh, cool way, honestly. A way that's not like, oh, you an old scrub, bro. Get up out of here. Not like that. Not like that. But look, the title of this film is called Big Brother. And I think Donnie Yen's character... And what you see him go through in this movie and each of the so there's four students that they really focus on it's one female three males mainly they're gonna focus on uh, two of the males one of them is Pakistani the other is the other two are either Chinese I think this is in China if I remember this takes place in China the other two are Chinese but it mainly focuses on these four kids that is like the biggest delinquents of the class they're not like outcasts but they are you know the delinquents of the class even though everybody in class is like a fucking delinquent they all don't be listening to stuff but they like literally be running the class they're the most popular kids in the class and uh these four is really the ones donnie Yen is trying to like help guide and stuff because he sees their influence over the class and stuff and he kind of you know you know kind of like uh how i'm not trying to say the same thing but now some people go like you know if you take out the biggest person in the yard everybody else will uh follow suit and not fuck with you Basically, he's kind of doing that with these kids and stuff, and they all just kind of follow suit with the other kids because, you know, a lot of the kids are uh, are following and not really leading in a sense. But he's not trying to do this just to get on their good side. He generally wants to help these kids. I'll give an example. Uh, there's one kid in the class who wants to become a great singer. And Donnie Yen, what he does is, you know, he's no great singer either, but he, uh, he takes his kid to this little uh, this park, 
and they have this little festival going on, this little culture festival with music and everything. And what he does, a hey, he 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 knows he can't sing, but the teacher jumps up there. He asks the guy, "Hey man, can I sing a song real quick?" Started singing and stuff, and then he uh, grabbed the other kid. So I'm like, "Come on, man, come on! They, I, I want them to hear you and stuff." They all started singing together because you know the kid uh, had a problem with uh, how everybody else heard him sing in Chinese. So he's Pakistani. He speaks good Chinese, but he sounds weird with his Chinese. And, and the, a lot of Chinese people don't like how he sounds when he speaks Chinese. And so he was always discouraged from singing. But Donnie Yen pushes him to uh, embrace your voice and go out there and just do it. Embrace your, embrace your, you know, em embrace your setbacks and stuff that's holding you back and turn it into something positive. And that's what he's pushing these kids to do. Uh, in this film, there's going to be a story that happens and like, there's a twist and you don't really like see it and it's real. it's literally there, but you don't even know. So they set up something with Donnie Yen's past and there's this character in this movie. I'm not going to spoil who, but there's a character in this movie. You're going to keep seeing him over and over and over again, right? And somehow they just have this ending where both these characters just end up you wouldn't think these characters would know anything about each other or probably recognize each other or whatever but when things get realized near the end and stuff and they show the connection i'm like dang okay you 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 straight up so i didn't expect that so this movie does some things that you wouldn't expect and it really like will surprise you like oh wow it'll be like oh my god it'll be like hmm okay i see what you did there and it's not a bad, uh, it wasn't a bad, uh, surprise. It's actually a good one, because I was like, okay, I like that, I like that, I like that. You know, you kind of attaching the teacher's, uh, sins to the situation that is affecting the kids. And he's trying to, you know, fix this issue. But he's, he's not, but he's not really trying to, uh, but he's not a guy that actively goes out to seek danger. It's just something from his past. That he never thought would come back to haunt him and it came back to haunt him in his uh class in his class and uh you guys i'll make this clear to y'all yes it's the donnie Yen film but there's not that much action in this movie but when the action does come up oh it's good donnie Yen does find a way to use his martial arts in this uh in this movie i'm not gonna say how or when but i'm just gonna say this much this movie the reason i like it it reminds me of so much of great teacher onizuka right and great teacher onizuka is literally this 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 is this this movie it's basically Great Teacher Onizuka, but with a better budget. That's about it. But Great Teacher Onizuka has, still has better characters overall. Better lead character, better characters overall. But this is just Great Teacher Onizuka as a film on a budget. On a good budget. And uh, it basically follows the same like story beats of Great Teacher Onizuka, but you know, Donnie Yen's character is not exactly Great Teacher Onizuka. They totally have a different backstory of how they became who they are and why they want to help these uh, kids become better people and and you know not let these kids end up being like them and actually put these kids on the right track to be you know better than the past generation we want you know you want them to do better because the thing about this is i'm not sure if a lot of asian schools like this but particularly i think this you know specifically in china and other places like maybe japan these schools don't tolerate that bullshit like some kids got into a fight. They just got into a fight. It wasn't even on school property. It was a fight at a restaurant, right? With some other kids from the same school. And the principal was like, yo, we about to expel these kids. And it's like, yo, we might have to call the police and shit. And Donnie Yen really had to go in the vouch like, nah, man, you being hard on these kids, bro. Like, understand, they gonna make their mistakes and stuff. They're young. But we have to allow them chances to uh, redeem themselves from making these mistakes. Is if we just punish them and don't let them get a chance to change, you know, we're just going to create more of these delinquents, as they call it, and stuff. And he's like, yo, give me a chance to help these kids. And he took he took it upon himself to help out those four kids because those are the ones that he really needed to focus on because they was the ones involved in the fight. And by helping them, he ended up helping the whole class because everything just started to fall together once he helped out those uh, those main four kids. But if I had to get to some cons, um, not enough action, but the action was used 
for right moments. It wasn't just random action scene here, you gotta throw it in or not. It was like, it made sense with the story. It wasn't just random action scene, just have a random action scene. Like, this, this, let's. It wasn't random to the point where, like, oh, Donnie Yen has to fight somebody. Let's fill up some time. Nah. Majority of this movie is gonna be filled up by dialogue and uh, character building. And, you know, that's not bad. I think it's good. It's a different type of film for Donnie Yen. I mean, he was in Rogue One and he barely had any action scenes than that. And he was more of like, you know, just a. Uh, he had, she had more dialogue than actual good action scenes. So it's the same thing here, but this is like his whole film and he has to carry this whole movie. And he does. He carries this whole movie. Donnie Yen does carry this whole movie because whenever his character pops up, I'm like, yeah, he's here. He's finally here. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the other some of the other characters. Specifically, I like seeing the villain character on screen because I like the way he acts and stuff. You know, I, I just like his whole vibe and everything. You know, he got that whole gang mafia shit going on. More like y'all. Uh, the tri- They're in China. So he got that triad shit going on. I'm like, okay, I'm fucking with it. But he's more like those uh triad thugs that's buck wild and shit and i was like dang bro you know i was kind of feeling this dude you know he's kind of fire as a villain but you know it like i say you'll get to the connection soon guys you'll get to the connection soon cons let me try to get to another con because there's cons with every single movie um oh there's one character particularly, the one who is associated with our villain in the movie. I mean, he didn't really have a good like backstory and stuff compared to like the fe the what the the female lead and the the kid from Pakistan. Like I like both of their backstories better and stuff and their character arts because I felt more for their struggles than his struggle. Not saying that his struggle wasn't nothing, but I felt more for them once they revealed like why these kids are acting the way they do and when you get to the daughter hey that's some fucked up shit i'm like damn that's fucked up like the daddy fucked up you can't accept her for what she is i mean she was born that way what it blew my mind when i heard that shit but that's the real thing i mean you know a lot of asian cultures and stuff but i'm not going to say what it is I, you know, not even just in Asian cultures and stuff. Probably just, yeah, just any culture in general. You know, you'll find that type of uh, weird favoritism for of, like what type of thing they want when it comes to particular child things. Not bad things, but like a child. You know, with particular things they would uh, want. Not nothing in a bad way, but I'm phrasing it weird. You guys are gonna think it's weird. I just skip past that. You'll see it when you watch the movie. But you guys, I hope y'all go check out Big Brother. Please go check this movie out. It's on Amazon Prime right now. Shouts out Amazon Prime for having this. If it wasn't for Amazon Prime, I would have never found this. So shouts out Amazon Prime. Not the best streaming service, but you're going, but you're getting up there, Amazon Prime. I, uh, I hope you guys do check out this film. This is a really good movie. If I had to grade this movie, let me grade this for you guys. Let me grade this. Let me grade this. I'm very I give it a B. I give this movie a B. How y'all feel about that? Is a B okay? A solid B. I give it a solid B. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Go check out this film. Go to that peace, love, positive, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs, y'all. And uh, deuces. What did you do?